A young paralegal trapped in an office with a killer on a secret mission. As the body count rises, the question becomes not just who will survive, but what drove the killer to commit such heinous acts. A thrilling cat and mouse game that will keep you on the edge of your seat. The narrative begins at Denning, a prominent pharmaceutical firm renowned for developing a new drug in the market intended to treat significant health issues. However, numerous accusations have been leveled against the pharmaceutical company, alleging that the new drug has potentially lethal side effects such as increased risk of heart attack and stroke. A prestigious law firm, RBE, has been tasked to investigate the case involving Denning Pharmaceuticals. Regrettably, when perceived inaction against the company is observed, a whistleblower at Denning decides to murder some of RBE's employees, deeming them ineffective against Denning. He boldly enters the RBE office and kills several executives in broad daylight. The news of the murder swiftly hits the media, and police arrive at RBE to arrest him, but the whistleblower exits the building and commits suicide. Following the incident, a new character is introduced in the film, Tom, who works as a paralegal at RBE. Tom is habitually late for his work, so he sneaks into the office while avoiding his superior, Emmerich. However, he still finds an email from Emmerich, indicating that his tardiness has been noticed. Emmerich suddenly appears and assigns him some tasks for the day. When Tom attempts to discuss some innovations in the Denning case, Emmerich declines to engage and shows little concern about the drug victims of the case. Tom then receives a call from his boss, inviting him for a meeting regarding his memo on the Gambizi case. When Tom meets his boss, he criticizes his idealism as financially impractical and rejects his request to join the case, citing his idealistic nature and the risk of witness data leakage. Tom loses his confidence in the cases and continues with his daily tasks. When he notices that all the Xerox machines are occupied, he goes to the record room to photocopy some paperwork. Tom's girlfriend, Anna, also appears in the record room and assists him in his work. It is revealed that they have been in a relationship for months and have been secretly dating. She supports his idealism for the cases. He attempts to bolster him against his superior's harsh demeanor. Tom somewhat fears that he might be dismissed for the recent incident, as no one is prepared to back his inventive ideas. Tom completes his duplication chore and returns to his desk. Emmerich joins the rest in the workspace and declares that all staff can depart early due to a technical issue with the company's internet, connectivity, and servers. Furthermore, he rebukes Tom's optimism about the Gambizi case and terminates his employment immediately, which isn't too shocking for Tom. Tom exits the office with his friend and colleague, Roger, and they make their way to the elevator. Roger abruptly remembers he forgot something and goes back to the office. As Tom arrives at the seventh floor, an enigmatic man enters the elevator and follows him down. When Tom and the man reach the lobby, Tom grows wary when he observes the man placing his briefcase on the ground, which is later retrieved by another person. When the second man enters the elevator, Tom observes that he is heading to the 34th floor, the location of the RBE law firm's office. Tom opts to trail him, but due to his earlier dismissal, he finds that his access card is non-functional. He temporarily leaves his bag at the reception and requests the security officer to grant him elevator access. Upon reaching the same floor, Tom initiates his hunt for the enigmatic man and arrives at the RBE office, where he spots Emmerich with a woman who is a testifying witness to the Gambizi case. Tom also encounters the office custodian and inquires about the mysterious man, but receives only a strange glance in return. He eventually makes it to the workspace, where he spots Roger at his desk. Tom gets his attention and requests entry. He indirectly questions Roger about his late-night presence in the office, but is dissatisfied with Roger's replies. He then activates video recording and discreetly places his mobile phone near his desk with the intention of documenting Roger's actions. He resumes his search for the man and ultimately discovers him meddling with the building's control systems. Tom observes from afar as another staff member catches the man red-handed. When she questions his identity, he masquerades as the maintenance worker. When she attempts to verify his presence with the authorities, he retrieves a handgun from his briefcase and instantly murders her. He then disposes of the dead body, while Tom watches in terror. Tom is thrown into a panic and seeks refuge from the murderer in the restroom, where he stumbles upon a deceased security officer. The murderer also ventures into the restroom, compelling Tom to conceal himself alongside the dead body. When Tom discerns that the murderer plans to seize the keys from the corpse, he hastily relocates to the neighboring lavatory. The murderer then procures the keys, a handgun, and a two-way radio from the security officer. Utilizing the security officer's access card, the murderer gains entry to the records room, where he plants a chemical bomb intended to obliterate all the law firm's files. In the meantime, Tom encounters Roger and warns him about the murderer. They attempt to evacuate the office, only to find that the elevator is locked. Tom and Roger retreat to the workspace to seek an escape route, as all exits have been sealed by the murderer, and even the internet connection has been severed. The murderer also infiltrates the workspace, forcing them to take cover beneath a table. When the murderer spots an active computer, he begins to suspect the presence of someone else in the office. As the murderer departs, Tom formulates a plan to alert the police and rescue Emmerich, but Roger opposes Tom's intention to save Emmerich, doubting that Emmerich would reciprocate their actions. Regardless, Tom directs Roger to notify the authorities as he endeavors to locate Emmerich. 
Since they possess only one access card, Tom uses his jacket to prevent the door from closing. Roger returns to his desk to phone his wife while Tom's mobile phone continues to record. Regrettably, before Roger can summon help, the murderer locates him and interrupts his call. Roger attempts to converse with his wife, but the murderer coerces him into a dialogue, instructing him to assure her of his late return home. When the call concludes, the murderer employs a telephone cord to strangle Roger to death, oblivious to the fact that a nearby mobile phone is documenting everything. Tom also re-enters the workspace and retrieves his mobile phone, only to find that his mobile phone's battery is nearly depleted. He connects his phone to a charger and vacates the desk. Meanwhile, the murderer discovers Tom's jacket at the door, confirming his suspicion that someone else is still present. Tom stumbles upon Roger's lifeless body and acquires his access card. When the murderer intervenes, Tom conceals himself, fearing he might be the next victim. As the murderer is disposing of Roger's corpse, Tom's recharging mobile phone rings, and the murderer finally realizes that more individuals remain in the building than he had anticipated. Unfortunately, he discovers the recorded proof of the murder on Tom's mobile phone and deletes the video. He eventually deduces that the mobile phone belongs to someone named Tom and initiates his hunt for him. He menaces Tom to reveal his whereabouts or he will seek him out and eliminate him. While the murderer is on his search, Tom seizes this opportunity to activate the fire alarm, but is unsuccessful. After spotting an elderly man in a neighboring building, Tom sets the room ablaze in an attempt to catch his attention. Tom implores him to alert the police, but regrettably the murderer extinguishes the fire with a fire extinguisher, creating the illusion that all is well. Tom dashes to the reception and commences reprogramming his access card. He also resets all the building's locks, effectively trapping the murderer inside. Tom then hurries to the main office and encounters Emmerich and a woman in the room. As soon as he apprises them of the murderer, he barges into the office and shoots the woman. The murderer fails to detect Tom, who is concealed behind the door. He intimidates Emmerich to remain in the office, while Tom continues to hide. When the murderer departs, Emmerich discloses to Tom that the woman was Gambizi's spouse. Tom infers that the murderer is a hitman dispatched by Gambizi to assassinate her, as she was slated to testify against her husband. With her demise, Tom anticipates that the murderer will depart. However, they discover that the murderer is making a futile attempt to gain entry because he is incapable of breaching the fortified bulletproof glass door. As Tom and Emmerich take cover in the workspace, the murderer locates them and threatens Tom to hand over the access card, or he will murder the custodian. However, Tom doesn't succumb to his ploy, as he is cognizant that the custodian is already deceased. After some time, Tom and Emmerich hear a mobile phone ringing, and it turns out that the murderer used Tom's phone to ensnare them. The murderer shoots Emmerich in his arm, but they manage to escape using the access card. The murderer pursues them with a fire axe, but they successfully gain entry to the records room, which Emmerich and Tom utilize as a sanctuary. Regrettably, the murderer uses Tom's mobile phone to entice Anna back to the office building in an effort to coax Tom out of the vault. As the murderer goes to meet Anna, Tom resolves to give him what he desires, as he has no other option but to rescue her. When Anna arrives at the office, he promptly takes her captive and also shatters her mobile phone. He escorts her to the lobby, where he finally confronts Tom and Emmerich. The murderer aims to gain access to the file room. While Tom is preoccupied with Anna's safety, he attempts to exchange his access card for Anna's freedom, to which the murderer consents, discarding his firearm. However, as soon as he obtains the card, he breaches the agreement, injuring Emmerich as he fires at them. The murderer enters the file room with Emmerich, where it is unveiled that Emmerich is also implicated in the entire affair, aiding the murderer in his mission. Now with access to the records, the murderer triggers the explosives, but Tom manages to confine him in the room. As the murderer attempts to exit the room, he realizes that Tom deceived him into accepting a counterfeit access card. The chemical bomb detonates, and the murderer suffocates and loses consciousness. Despite the peril, Tom enters the room to put out the fire, only to find that the murderer has revived. The murderer assaults Tom and beats him, but Emmerich retrieves the murderer gun and shoots him. Before he succumbs, the murderer murmurs a code to Tom. Intrigued by the murderer's final words, Tom probes further and uncovers that Emmerich likely marked Roger for execution due to his own whistleblowing about the law firm's intention to sabotage the Denning case. He apprises Emmerich of the situation, but Emmerich deflects his attention, requesting him to summon an ambulance. Tom employs the murderer's mobile phone to call an ambulance, but the phone is locked. He recalls the code from the murderer's final words and uses that code to unlock it. As Tom redials the recent call log, Emmerich's mobile phone rings, which discloses that the murderer was Emmerich's collaborator in incinerating the files. Tom finally uncovers the truth and accuses Emmerich of everything including Roger's murder. Emmerich confesses that it was all merely a settlement to obliterate all records on the Denning case. He pleads with Tom to destroy the evidence, as Emmerich believes the pharmaceutical company to be more formidable and merciless than any criminal organization. Tom declines to comply and exits the room with the file. 
Feeling cornered in the situation, Emmerich takes his own life in his room. The police arrive at the office following the incident, as Tom and Anna vacate the building. One of the officers enters the file room, who is revealed to be the murderer's accomplice, the man who encountered Tom earlier in the elevator with the briefcase. As Anna and Tom depart the building, Tom realizes that his mobile phone is still in the murderer's pocket. The officer in the file room discovers Tom's mobile phone in the murderer's pocket and alerts a hitman outside the building, who confirms that he has sighted the target, departing with the girl. This is it for today. I will reconnect with you with another story like this. Until then, this is your host for Movie, Recap Vision, signing off. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications to catch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.